Las manzanas de las variedades Crisp Pink, Fuzzy Glow y Living Red pueden usar la marca Pink Lady cuando cumplen con todas las especificaciones de calidad. Para este 2020 se liberó una nueva norma de calidad. En el país, las inspecciones de calidad son llevadas a cabo por la empresa de Ecofruta. El control de calidad que realizamos acá en el país es parte de un control global que se realiza a todas las manzanas de Pink Lady en el mundo. Las manzanas de las variedades Crispin y también de sus mutaciones que cumplen con las especificaciones de Pink Lady tienen que ser embaladas en cajas de Pink Lady. Por lo anterior es que las cajas de Crispin también se, de, se pueden inspeccionar. 69.000 toneladas se exportaron en 2019. Esto fue un 7% menos que en la temporada 2018. Europa es el principal destino de nuestras exportaciones. Para este año 2020 se espera contar con una producción similar a la de la temporada pasada. Hola, soy Andrew Mandemaker, Head of Quality and Innovation at Apple and Pear Australia, the owners of the Pink Lady trademark. Every year I visit Chile and visit the pack houses and exporters, and unfortunately this year I can't do that, so we have to find new ways of working. With luck we'll be able to travel again and I can come back and visit you and your orchards and your pack houses like we have in the past. Today I'm going to give a quick update on the Pink Lady quality specification. I'm going to talk about quality inspections um, and give an update on packaging and also USA and Mexico. The quality specification. We have a new specification for 2020. We've made some updates to the tolerances for defects. This should help Chilean exporters to meet the specification but also maintain the high standard of quality we, we expect for Pink Lady. We have a 1% tolerance for major defects, 3% for critical defects, and 10% for total defects. Other parts of the specification have remained unchanged from last year. Quality inspections. The quality inspections that we complete in Chile are just one of many quality inspections we complete around the globe both in market and in production countries. So Chile, New Zealand, South Africa, but also in markets. So this year we added Thailand and Vietnam, joins Malaysia and Southeast Asia. We are also going to add Saudi Arabia and Qatar to the UAE in the Middle East. And hopefully next year we can add the USA, both imports into the USA and exports from the USA. The quality inspections that we do are just one part of the, what we'll be doing this year. We will also be asking our partners DecoFruit to conduct a survey of Crips Pink boxes to see what quality of, of apples are in the Crips Pink boxes. I remind exporters and packers that if an apple can be a Pink Lady apple, it must be a Pink Lady apple. This is a simple survey. It will take place at the same time as the QC inspection. As you'll probably know, a few years ago, Apple and Pear Australia made an update to the uh, Pink Lady logo, moving to a two-dimensional logo. From this season onwards, only that logo can be used on any stickers, on all boxes and all packaging. The old logo is no longer to be used in any circumstance. USA and Mexico. I'm pleased to give an update on USA and Mexico. Apple and Pear Australia has made an arrangement with Pink Lady America for the use of the trademarks in the USA and Mexico. Apple and Pear Australia is now the master licensee for all exports out of the US and all imports into the US. This is an exciting opportunity for Chilean exporters, and we look forward to working with Chilean exporters exporting to the USA. For a quality perspective, there's only one thing to be aware of. For this year, we will be looking to have a minimum requirement of 60% color for Pink Lady apples going to the US. That will be reviewed, but at this time, that's where we are for the USA. Thank you for your time today. I look forward to being able to travel to uh, Chile again, but until then, have a very good season. Thank you. Al igual que en años anteriores, la empresa EcoFruit es la encargada de llevar a cabo las inspecciones de calidad, donde se revisa la calidad de la fruta que está embalada, para asegurando que éstas cumplan con las especificaciones que exige la marca. Si un lote inspeccionado no cumple con la calidad exigida, este queda fuera de normas, por lo que se piden hacer acciones correctivas. Y también se programa una reinfección para verificar los procesos de embalaje. 
a raíz de la pandemia en la que nos estamos viendo, nos importa mucho resguardar también la salud de los trabajadores y de los inspectores de Ecofood, por lo que se están tomando todas las medidas de seguridad que han recomendado las autoridades del país para poder llevar a cabo de mejor manera las inspecciones de calidad en las distintas plantas. Se han actualizado también los documentos de calidad que sirven como material de apoyo a, a la gente de PACI. El primero de estos es el manual de calidad, donde aparecen todos los defectos con fotos para poder explicarle a la gente a qué se refiere cada uno de los defectos que aparecen en la norma. Y también el manual de packaging, donde se, mu se muestra las cajas a utilizar, cómo debe ser el etiquetado, el PLU y otra información pertinente para que a ustedes les sirva de apoyo. Hello, I'm Marion Chancet from Surfoot. I am in charge of the Pink Lady Import Program in Europe. Today, in this video, I'm going to give you a feedback of the European market perspective, the quality and the control program for the 2020. This season, 95,000 tons 800 are plain. As a reminder, it was 78,400 tons last year. It is a growth of 9%. The growth comes from all origin, in particular from Chile, which is the main contributor to volume in Europe, which 62% of the volume. The growth is 7%. There is all, also a growth from New Zealand with 5%, South Africa 46%, reaching a volume of 8,100 to Europe, Argentina for 9%. Train is too small size in various countries. This kind of um, size do not match with the market expectation. Indeed, as you can see below, most of the market require scones 90, 100, and 110. COVID-19 impact global economy. In Europe, is now reduction of the restriction. Indeed, The spread of the coronavirus slows. Each country is trying to get back to business. Public transport services are restored. The plants are reopening, but the restaurant cannot work normally. Moreover, events and festivals are cancelled in September. We don't know how will happen the 2020 season. So far, it seems that the product are picked, packed and shipped without major issue. Regarding the market, it is expected to have a good market till end of July, early August, because of the low European apple stock, shortage in summer fruit, and the summer holiday disturb. But a lot of uncertainty remain. And it is important to handle very carefully. Logistic dynamic and regime of packing shed are quite uncertain. We don't know about all sale and tourism activity, about the retail answer to social demand, in particular the buyer locking trends. In-store activation are disturbed, events are cancelled. And what about purchasing power? There are risks to renew the 2018 end of season scenario. So be careful plain and keep an eye on the quality. Quality and control program remain very important. Quality program were launched May the 1st with six quality agencies instead of five for more flexibility and check all along the supply chain. This season, there will be more inspection at retail level. We have renewed uh, a specific follow-up procedure for the second year in order to follow rejection and to be sure the quality always meet Pink Lady standard. We think this year more than ever necessary exchange about storability profile between exporter and importer in order to follow the quality and manage storability. For that, a summary on internal burning factor study will be released. Finally, 
A religious survey will be renewed. External survey conducted by Starfoot and the collection of results of analysis from importer. For information, packaging and destination have changed with the SATI design for food dinner and trays. As a reminder, for pink kids, importer must sign an amendment. Fruits must bear pink kids sticker. Sticker can be applied at source or destination. Finally, in the continuity of last year, Southfoot has offered exporter certificate to ensure the compliance with the UA regulation on crisping and residue. Starfoot will go on checking on a regular basis at importer level in Europe and UK, the compliance of the food. And attention will be paid as well to exporter not having signed the certificate. En estos momentos difíciles por los que todos estamos pasando, espero que tengamos una muy buena temporada y muy buena salud usted y su familia. Muchas gracias, que estén muy bien.